Hello guys, I'm a happy, happy guy today because I finally fixed a problem that I had. I have, um, as you might know from my other videos, I have the Oxygen 49 from M Audio, a MIDI keyboard, and I always wanted to um, to play drums into my computer so that for recording purposes and everything. So that I could play my drums and just do my drumming because I know how to play drum a little bit. But with a keyboard, you're going to have to... Wait, let me see if I can set this up better. With a keyboard, the problem is if you want to play drums, stay there. Camera, please. Always the camera problems. I should do it like this. If you want to play drums on a keyboard mm, you have to like do a kick and a snare and a, and a hi-hat but when you, when you actually play drums you do your kicks with your foot of course but yeah it's, it's just a bitch to do like uh, uh, you know it's, it, it sucks so now I finally found a post when I Google because I've been trying to get it fixed for a few days now. I finally found someone who took the time and actually explained how to set up your sustain pedal as your uh, kick drum. So this is the trick. This is the magic. Because now what I can do I will show you down here I have two pedals there that one actually doesn't work yet because I have to um, you have to put it in the back of your M audio wait let me see if you can see there you have to put it in, in the back of it and there's only one input for your sustain pedal and so I have to get um, I have to get some kind of plug that can And put these two plugs together so it just some chip chip and then whoop. so it, it, it becomes one plug and it sends out the same data from both the pad the the, the kicks sorry for the video but I thought I just wanted to upload it god damn it but you have to find the hole always having problems finding the hole plug in the correct one or yeah I did. okay so because I'm on a low budget I'm always on a low budget I have to do everything low budget so I didn't want to go and buy like the the pad yeah you, you have the the hardware the pads with the pads on it and one paddle but I thought fuck that shit I'm not gonna pay like 100 200 euros or something like that I'll fix it my own way. So I went online and I bought two uh, Roland switches, pedal switch DP2. They cost like 13 euros or something, like not much at all. So I bought two of those, not knowing if it would work, but I was pretty sure that it was going to work eventually. So I've been screwing around with it a few days and now finally after finding that post, I got it to work. Because now I can do it with my foot, like a like a real drum skit. So I can put the snare, like on my left, uh, yeah, on my left hand, and a hi hat on the right, and you can just go, and you can. I'll 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 have to like put marks on my keys, on what what key does what, because I don't know I don't know where everything is. I mean. Uh, I mean, it, it just it, uh, it feels so much better to be, be able to do the kick drum with your foot, of course. And when I have both pedals uh, hooked up to it, I can do the double bass, everything, you know. 
Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Because that is what you probably clicked this video for in the first place. Um, so this guy on the internet said, okay. You have to... Um, shut up. You have to press the pedal. Okay, so you, you plug the pedal into your in, into your M audio device and you kick the pedal once. Just do it once. It doesn't give you the kick yet, but just press it once. And then you go to your keyboard. Right, I need to read it up myself for a second again. Um, okay, then you press uh, advanced. Okay. It'll get... It'll probably say uh, 146, but you I just go ahead then and um, you press Control Assign. It says there, yeah, you press that one, and then you press 147. Yes, what is already there, and you press Enter. Okay, then you press uh again you go to advance again um then you press data one which is this one it all says it there if you have to keep it yourself you'll see press data one um and enter the midi node number yeah um i set it to 36 because on this keyboard the 36 um, transforms to this key, I think, which is, wait, if you put, then you, yeah, 36, and so 3, and the 6, and it says 36 there, and press enter, okay? So, because the 36 uh, assigns to this key, and this key is the, the kick drum, and you want the, the MIDI pedal to press this key, basically. Okay, and uh, well, then you can uh, go to data, oh, then press advance again, and then press data two, and make sure that one is set to zero. So if you set it to zero, to enter, and then you go to advance again, and then you press data three, and you make sure that that one is set to 127, which is the max, it's 127, blah, 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 and then enter again, and then, the magic works. You just press your kick. Sorry for the camera movement and everything. Press kick. And it just works. Fucking magic. So once I have both pedals hooked up, I'm pretty sure it'll work. So if you have any questions, just ask me and I'll see if I can help you. Um, I'll also put in uh, the, the description uh, what the guy typed so it might be easier. But I, I didn't, I mean, I tried to find it on YouTube, but I just could not find anyone who, who did it and explained it um, on this particular keyboard or any other keyboard, to be honest. And I've been searching for it all the fucking time. I mean, it just works a lot more natural if you can press the kick with your foot and then and just record the MIDI and I mean, yeah. So, I hope you guys had, uh, well, I hope I helped out some of you guys that are on a low budget, just like me, to record your drums and everything. And uh, just, you got a question, just ask and uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.